Introducing the Paddy Power World Darts Championships. Brilliant, you're in Wales. Second and none, son. Brilliant support. It's nice that all the Welsh boys are here, obviously. Mark Webster's Richard Burnett. Nice to see Jamie Lewis back, Barry Bates. You know, and obviously myself and Gez. So, do you know what I mean? It's uh, fantastic. Absolutely love it. You got an unbelievable elevation as well when you went up there. That must give you a nice feeling inside. Yeah, I think so. Do you know what I mean? It's always nice to play in Wales. We don't do much of it. So, um, yeah, it's great. Absolutely fantastic. You, you'd love another event in Wales, wouldn't you? Haven't they just won Premier League night? Yeah, 100%. But, you know, like, um, it, it just doesn't seem to happen. So, um, you know, the same stories come out all the time. We play in England, we play in Germany. We play, they're always against us. We don't get that chance to have the role reversed. Like, so they can have the Welsh crowd booing them instead of people booing us. But, hey, that's that. So we're going to take it on the chin and, and try and march on. You've got a few of these coming up between now and the world. Is this great preparation for you to have quality time with the board against great opposition ahead of Alexandra Palace? Yeah. Obviously, um, I think I need it. I, I need much practice, like, you know what I mean? So, you know, there's a few more to come, and um, hopefully it's going to prepare me for, for the Worlds. On your equipment, we saw you make a change at, at the last Pro Tour. We've seen you've been tinkering recently. Is that just to almost refocus the mind? Yeah, in a, in a way, yes, because it makes you a little, I suppose, to concentrate a little bit more. So, um, yeah. I try things, I try to better my game, you know? It's just I need to get my head back in the right place and I'll be back. Don't worry about that. Back to the original equipment right now, is it? No, no, I'm going to stick with this because I do like it because basically the all I've done is change the nose of the dart. So basically I've tried to lessen the reflections off the dart because where the end of the point is usually to a, to a flat edge of the dart. Yeah. I've gone now so we've pointed it hopefully that it'll just slide through the yeah. flight. So I am going to, I'm going to persevere with these and hopefully it's going to work out. Well, obviously working with Lee, he's one of the best, if not the best in the business, and that must be nice to know that you can go to him and say, look, can we fix this? And he comes up with this. Yeah, 100%. Lee's always on the other side of the phone for me, fair play. You know, any problems that I have, Lee's straight on it just to try and try and help me out so um, you know we're going to try this and hopefully it's going to work Draw for Ali Pally is obviously out what's your first impressions of your, your little section of the draw and who you can potentially play ah, to be honest I know who I'm playing it's either Steve Lennon or, or I'm Owen Bates so you know I'm just going to concentrate on that first you know I need to get past that round, that round first so um, I don't look too far ahead you know that you know it's I, I don't overthink things so I take it game by game and hopefully I I can do some damage. Is it worse not knowing who you're gonna play? Obviously they have to play first, they get a game up on that stage. Is that is that worse for you seats? Um Yes and no maybe um it all depends. I think we all play enough darts, you know. The only advantage they've got, they've actually put foot, they've stepped foot on that stage before I have. But maybe in a different way, you know, I've played in the Premier League, which I play more darts than them in the season. So, listen, we should all be ready to put the feet on that stage and try and play your best darts. It's almost approaches as two separate competitions where you've got the one before Christmas, win that, and then making sure you're there after Christmas. Yeah, um, I think if I could pick a time to play Christmas time, I think it would be very, very early, first couple of nights or the last couple of nights. So I think by playing the last couple of nights, if you get through, you ain't going to be long waiting before you play again. So um, I think preferably I would take that rather than early doors. Like, so you're quite happy where you are on the schedule then. I am, and I think I've played the last three or four years closer to Christmas. And yeah, I quite like it because you don't have to wait a long time to play again. What's 
Christmas and the Clayton household like? Is it switch off from Alexandra Palace? I know that's hard because it is the World Championships, but as a family, can you do that? Switch off from it? You try to, but it's impossible really because, listen, you win your first game, your head is on the next game, yeah? So, um, yeah, it's hard to switch off. You know? I, I always go, I'm not going to watch that. Next thing I'm watching that. So, you know, I, I don't overwatch that because I... I try to keep focused in my game, not other people's games. So, um, my kids love it. Ellen, my wife, love it, loves that. So, you know, it's hard not to have a darts game on TV in my house, but I just try and focus on what I've got to do. Where you're playing as well, is it nice that the kids have finished school and they can come and watch you? Because I remember speaking to you before that you love it when they do come, but they don't get to come that often because of the term time. So is this, is this a plus for you? Yeah, 100%, pal, because, you know, listen, my, my, my daughter Fiona has got GCSEs and my boy Clear is just going into to third form. So things are getting a bit busier with school so I wouldn't take him out of education and anyway maybe the odd time as a treat maybe but I could never take him out all the time so with the Worlds with Blackpool they're off on their school holidays so it works perfect for me. Premier League obviously a lot of discussion around it at the moment you're one of those players that people are saying he's in the mix he's in contention do you feel you've done enough to get another shot or do you need a big run at the Worlds? Uh, hopefully do you know what I mean but at the end of the day it's not my pick you know, you know, I'm going to try my best in the world. So I want to be in it. You know, obviously I do. You know, I I think I've proved my worth in the last three Premier Leagues. And cross fingers, I'm in this one. Won the World Cup, match by final. Credit in the bank. You must be hoping that that's enough. Yeah, you obviously hope that. You, yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm, I'd be a liar if I said I don't think that I'm good enough to be in there because I, I generally do. I love the competition and I want to be in it. And that's all I can say. You know, it's not me that picks it because if it was, I'd be number one on the sheet. <laughs> but, um, no, all jokes aside, cross fingers I'm in. I want to be in. I want to play there again. I love it. So, yeah. Cross fingers. Players Championships and the Grand Prix, we saw signs that your game is he's on, the, on the up again. Can you take positive from those two tournaments? And there were good performances there. Yeah, you know, but I know there's loads more in the tank. It's just getting my head right and just proving myself again. Like, you know, to be honest, I don't care what anybody else thinks. I need to do for me. I don't care about the keyboard warriors. I don't care about what anybody else thinks. I know I can do it and I will prove it again. Just on what you said there, that's interesting because I've never heard you speak like that before. Do you actually read social media? And I know you've got it and you, and you, you dabble on it and stuff like that. But do you actually read some of the comments? Sir? I don't read everything, but some Sometimes it's like it's hard not to read it and you know it's not that I care but you just read to have a, you know it's just like oh yeah have a look at that and it's it's hard to explain but I, I'm just I'm just one of these I want to do for me I don't care about anybody else I want to do for me my family, my mum, it's, it's, that's what I want to do for. Do you know what? It's like, you know, the big man's gone now, so I can't do for him. So I just want to do it. I just want me to get back to Johnny Clayton playing darts. Looking at the world, have you set yourself, obviously I know you want to win it, but have you set yourself any minimum expectations of what you expect in the World Championships? That's a difficult question. 100% I want to make quarterfinals on. I want to win it. Everybody wants to win it, obviously. But, you know, I think I'm good enough to make quarterfinals and maybe further, you know. So, cross fingers. I can prove what I'm chopsing about. So, um, yeah, cross fingers. I can do it. And it's, it's the Dodgy Tash staying? Listen, that ain't staying, right? <laughs> okay? So you leave my Tash be, okay? <laughs> this will all pervade away I've got a Dodgy Tash, okay? Because my beard had to come off. So, it's taken me eight years to get a bit of beard, so no. <laughs> Listen, uh, it ain't staying for long. We can have a young, fresh, clean shaven Johnny Clayton for the world. No, never, never, <laughs> not, never, 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 100% not, no. I want that little bit of stubble back. There's only like six a side, but I want it back. Johnny, it's an absolute pleasure to talk to you about here in Cardiff. Thank you very much. As Legend, cheers, fellas. Don't want that. Introducing the Paddy Power World Darts Championships. Hey!